Ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> may I have your attention, please? I'm Luther Hodges, a Democrat from North Carolina. <coughs> We've had a wonderful group of meetings all the way through North Carolina, including 12,000 this morning at 7 o'clock in Durham. We have a bunch of distinguished guests that got on up at Lexington and getting off at Salisbury. We appreciate very much them coming with us. I want to present <coughs> I want to present Don't do that I want to present <coughs> the governor of North Carolina, Mr. Terry Sanford. Come on up here, Terry, let him see you. Your lieutenant governor nominee, Mr. Bob Scott. Your senior senator, Mr. Sam Irvin. And your junior senator, Mr. Everett Jordan. Now I want to present to you your own Bob Davis congressional candidate who in turn will present the first lady of the land, Bob Davis. Thank you, Secretary Hodges. Quickly let me present to you my wife, Mary Ann. And I'd like, I'd like to say it's good to be home and I know that we here in Rowan County in the 9th District are going to let on November 3rd, let President Johnson and Mrs. Johnson know how much we love them as we do today by giving them a tremendous vote in this area. I want you to remember that on the bottom of the state ticket is Bob Davis, and I'm concerned that you elect him to go to Washington and to work with President Johnson for uh, pr progress in Washington as well as here in this state. Now, it is my privilege to present to you at this time the lady who has been traveling North Carolina with such considerable success, the lady who is now the first lady of the United States, and the lady who will continue after this election to be the first lady of the United States, the, pre the wife of the President of the United States, Lady Bird Johnson. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bob Davis. You know, with every turn of the wheels, I've been thinking nothing could be finer than to be in Carolina in the morning. <laughs> it, it's been a wonderful trip and, and getting better with every stop. I understand that the railroad people uh, put the first train into here just 100 years ago. Uh, all the folks of Salisbury came out to meet it. And I thank all the folks of Salisbury for coming out to meet us. I know that you all have a lot of uh, uh, political uh, background here because Adlai Stevenson's ancestors came from here and uh, the wonderful Veep, Alvin Barkley, his kinfolks came from here and President James K. Pope and Davy Crockett. And furthermore, Andrew Jackson practiced law here. So all this gives me courage to talk a little bit about my husband. For the last 10 months, He's been your president, and he's put into those 10 months all of the heart and intellect and strength that he has in trying to bring to all the people of our country prosperity, stability, and peace. I'm 
proud of his record. I hope you approve it. And I want you to be with us in November. I've been hearing from your very attractive Bob Davis and Mrs. Davis what the, uh, what a growing sentiment for the Democrats there is in this area, and I'm looking forward to seeing it come forth in November. I can see so many young folks out there, I expect maybe schools let out, and I want you to meet my own student, Linda Bird. I want to thank you all for coming, particularly the band, and I see all these wonderful signs. I see one or two over here I don't necessarily agree with, but I'm glad that we live in a country where we can disagree. After all, we know in our hearts who's right. Thank you all for coming, and vote Democratic. May I present for just a, a short introduction your distinguished state chairman of the Democratic Party in North Carolina, the Honorable Jim Elder Broughton. Thank you very much, Governor Hodges. It's my pleasure to present to you the wife of our Democratic nominee for governor, Ms. Dan K. Moore. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you so much, and I see some beautiful signs all around that I am enjoying, as I am sure Mrs. Johnson enjoyed seeing these others. I know that she appreciates your being here this morning and the warmth of your welcome, but on November the 3rd, she will appreciate much more your coming to the polls. What will you say to her then on November the 3rd? Good! Vote Democratic! All right, back on the train, and I want to again tell you what a wonderful crowd you have been, and how much we appreciate this. And we want to we wanna put North Carolina over the top as she always goes. Vote Democratic November 3rd, particularly for Lyndon Johnson and uh, Governor Moore. Thank you, we get going.